Hello friends, welcome back to the Read and Feed channel. If we haven't met before, I'm Joe, the host of this channel. I post the video each day going through the Bible and we have been going through the book of Proverbs. It's called the Book of Wisdom and I am on chapter three. If you don't have your Bible, I encourage you, grab it. Even if you have to hit pause, I'm going to pray, read through and share thought. And I'd love for you to be part of the conversation by commenting below or sharing the video, whatever it takes, because we need to get into God's word. If you agree, say amen. Chapter three, Lord, help us. We're going to read chapter three, book of Proverbs, speak to our hearts and minds in the name of Jesus. Amen. Verse one, my son. Do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. For length of days and long life and peace, they will add to you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart, and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor detest his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, just as a father, the son in whom he delights. Happy is the man who finds wisdom, and the man who gains understanding. For her proceeds are better than the profits of silver, and her gain than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things you may desire cannot compare with her. Length of days is is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace she is a tree of life to those who take hold of her and happy are all who retain her the lord by wisdom founded the earth by understanding he established the heavens by his knowledge the depths were broken up and the clouds dropped down the dew my son, let them not depart from your eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion, so they will be life to your soul and grace to your neck. Then you will walk safely in your way, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down, and your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror, nor of the trouble from the wickedness when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Verse 27. Do not withhold good from those to whom, to whom, to whom it is due, when it is in your power of your hand to do so. Do not say to your neighbor, go and come back, and tomorrow I will give it, when you have it with you. Do not devise evil against your neighbor, for he dwells by you for your safety's sake. Do not strive with a man without cause if he has done you no harm. Do not envy the, the oppressor and choose none of his ways, for the perverse person is an abomination to the Lord, but his secret counsel is with the upright. The curse of the wicked is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the just. Surely he scorns the scornful, but gives grace to the humble. The wise shall inherit glory. But shame shall be the legacy of fools. And that is Proverbs chapter 3. 35 verses. Packed full of wisdom. I do want to focus on just a portion. And um, as I was reading, I see chapter, uh, not chapter, but verse 13. I love it. Happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. And I know we are in the midst of just craziness around the world, worldwide pandemic, and now riots all across our nation. 
even if you're watching probably even in your city, in your neighborhood. A lot of unhappy people and people seeking justice and finding, trying to find redemption. And I believe uh, coming away empty handed because if we don't do it God's way, there is no true redemption, no true peace, no satisfaction that will last. Verse 13 says, happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. And then it personifies wisdom. For Verse 14, for her proceeds are better than the profits of silver and her gain than fine gold. So wisdom, the results of gaining wisdom is better than even gold. Verse 15, she is more precious than rubies and all the things you may desire cannot compare to her. That is the result of gaining wisdom. Verse 16, length of days is in her, is in her right hand and in her left hand are riches and honor. See, these are the things that we seek. These are the things that we desire. And God's saying, gain wisdom first. These things will result because I will give you the wisdom. Verse 17, her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace. How comforting is that? We can have confidence in God's word. Lastly, verse 18, she is a tree of life to those who take hold of her and happy are all who retain her. So wisdom is meant to, meant to be kept in the heart kept and renewing our minds and so with that let's think about that i encourage you read through chapter three again meditate on it think about it over and over if you have to say it say it if you have to write it down write it down if you have to put it on your phone put it on your phone and let's see what god does when we gain his wisdom when we do it his way. There's a truck coming by. Wow, that's a big truck. Anyways, I'm just going to keep talking. If you don't know Jesus, he's God's son. I have a video here for you. For you to um, pray with me on video to follow Jesus Christ. And then a series here on things Jesus said. God bless you. Please follow us. Like us. Subscribe. Do all those things so you get the latest and greatest on YouTube or wherever we, wherever I am on social media, Facebook and LinkedIn. See you guys tomorrow. God bless again.